<laughs> oh, is this for like a project or something? Oh, yeah, it's for my advanced uh, documentary filming yeah, class. Oh, advanced, huh? <laughs> well, if you don't mind me asking, what makes it so advanced? Like, am I right? Like, is there anything you're looking forward to this year? Um, I guess I'm looking forward to... Damn, I don't really know. Ooh, <laughs> uh, I guess looking forward to getting some pussy. I just, just playing, just playing, all right? I simply cannot wait to just enlighten my peers with my sheer knowledge of filmmaking and the observations that I'll, I'll make of the human aura. I would say that I'm looking forward to making... Sorry. Do you want me to, like, read your aura? I would say I'm excited to see all my friends and make some new ones. Was that believable? I'm looking forward to... What am I looking forward to? I'm sensing a kind of green, a little bit blue. Are you excited for your first day at an American school? No. She is so hot, dude. It's like oh crazy. Oh my god, dude. yo, she had died. Man, look at her. Damn. Look at her, yo, no, she had died. Wait, bro. That's my mom. Whoa, 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 <laughs> homie, what? Like, I mean, after the accident, she hasn't been doing too well, but she's recovering. Hey, know? yo, but she, she was looking good, man, I have to say. She's good morning, class, and welcome to the first day of TV production. Yeah, yeah. Love this class. Thank you, love the enthusiasm. Today, I want to introduce myself first. I am Mr. O. Neil. Is there anybody else who would care to introduce themselves? Whoa. Hello there, all you beautiful and complex homo sapiens. Not homosexuals. I'm not calling any of you homosexuals. Just feel the need to clarify. I, I, I don't hate gay people. I, I actually love the gays, but you know, just. Yeah. Anyways, I'm Lucius. You know, just I I guess I enjoy long walks on the beach, or in fact, just long walks in general. I mean, my step minimum for the for you know every day is twenty five thousand. You know, then again, I'm not one to brag, but that's more than average. Like. Okay. Um. Next. I'll go. Uh, hi everyone. My name's Sammy. Don't really know what else to say. Uh, just really excited to make films with all of you. What's up everybody, I'm Austin. Hi, I'm Seth. So, uh, I joined this class here with my good buddy Seth right there, that's my man's, and uh, I'm ready to shoot some movies. Yeah, we're gonna go shoot some movies. I am Dimitri. I, uh, don't speak English very well. Now let's cut to the chase. This year, we have an exciting opportunity. Every one of you gets a chance to make your own movie. And the winner gets, drum roll. A scholarship. Quick question. Okay, H how, much, how much is the scholarship? Thank you for asking, Mr. Hemsworth, the scholarship is for $5,000. You guys all have two months to put together the most extravagant film you can, and then time's up. Now, I have posted a reference sheet of the most ideal steps for you to take for the best production possible. Make haste, young prodigies, make haste! Yo. What a weirdo. <laughs> Yo, broski, you got any ideas, man? Yo, honestly, I don't even want to be here. I got money for my own college. I don't even need a scholarship. I mean, like, 
Free money is free money, bro. Hey, I'm not trying to be selfish, you know. Got you, homie. I've got it. Sammy, let me hear you. I've got an idea. Please stop talking to me like that. Sorry. Okay, but listen to this. I literally don't understand any of this at all. Alright, as, as you can see here, I have illustrated a diagram of the human brain, right? No, no. The human brain is a very complex organ, which, of course, that, like, I, I intend to... Have you ever met your higher self? Introducing Nature Valley's brand new crunchy oats and honey bar. Only 190 calories. This is a great source for your vitamin A, vitamin K, and vitamin Z. Wow, how crunchy. And, and here's the kicker of, of the story, right? Because, I mean, the plot... Excuse me for... Wait, hold on. Here's the plot, alright? Here's the plot. As you can see here, the character goes through a lot, alright? And this is going to screw with his head, right? It's going to screw with his brain. But it's not going to be alright, because right here, the story comes right around, back to where he began. This is where he began, right? This is where he got screwed up, right? He's gonna go around here a little bit, but then he's gonna come back here and then continue going and find himself right back to where he began. Because the brain is circular. Like that, right? Crazy, like, scribbles here. It kind of symbolized kind of the crazy cuckoo-ness of my mind, you know? The inner machinations of my, it's, yeah. Wow. All right, just, just never mind, all right? I'll show this to O'Neill. I'm sure he'll be very proud. Because I have created something. Something here that is just grand, you know? Oh. Alright, Mr. O'Neill. I just I finished the idea. I finished my idea and just yeah. It's oh. nice work. Um are you sure you don't want to spend nah. a little bit more time nah. on it? It's been like ten minutes nah. since I signed the No, no. Look, the thing about me is, like, I work best on rash decisions, rash and very quick, very quickly made decisions. The ones that I'm just, like, later, like, am I sure that this is a good idea? Don't even answer that, because I'm still doing it, you know? That's exactly it, Mr. Hemsworth. This is your vision. So, get to it. She is one fine lady. Have you seen her, dude? I have not. Oh my gosh, she is a dime. It's a great <laughs> dime. I don't know where she Alright. So basically, guys, what I was thinking for my film is... I really want to make something that's emotional and impactful and powerful. All in the and and action felt obviously because I mean without action it was the point. It's it's kind of it's kind of gonna be like John Wick meets The Matrix meets 
that other film with Cameron's and Sandra Bullock? Other than Speed, it's not Speed, it's The Lake House, that's the one. It's kind of it's kind of be like that love story, kind of. But probably gonna add like elements of drug addiction and crap, because drug addiction, like a great many things in life, is addictive. And the thing about addiction is they're hard they're hard to break, because you're addicted, you know. Anyway, the man's search for meaning. This is this is one of the books I'm gonna take a, a pretty fat chunk of inspiration from. This guy, he was in a he was in a Holocaust camp. And then he was all like, I'm not dying here, and then he didn't die. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. A Sand County Almanac. I don't even know what this is, but I mean, apparently it's like this guy, at Apold Leopold. It's apparently like his diary or journal. I prefer to call my journal a journal, because I mean, diary is like, that's, that's kind of that's weak. And like, you know, it's, it's journal is way better, you know? But yeah, he he uses a lot of fancy long book learning words. I don't like that. I don't like that. So I mean, it's an okay book for guys. But... Norse mythology by Neil Gaiman. Yeah, this book is actually pretty cool. I mean, it, it talks about Nor like Norse gods. Although Odin, he's kind of a. Can you get to the point? What are you talking about? The plot of my. If it's of any interest, any of you, because I mean, it's fun. It's basically this guy, right? This guy. He's a normal dude, normal average everyday dude. Then all of a sudden, he gets hit by a truck, right? What? I know, right? It's, it's crazy, it's crazy. Screws up his head. Screws up his head. I know. And then he's thinking, oh my god, why do I deserve this? Ah, ah, ah. And then guess what? Guess what? Drug addiction. Nicotine. Then, guess what? Guess what happens? Guess what? Alcoholism. Then, then, right? Just, now that he's got all this alcoholism and this nicotine addiction, right? And, and, and the other thing, the truck, he's all like, Man, society has just been screwing me over. And you know what I'm going to take it out on? Las Vegas, right? Las Vegas is the best city, and it's all consumerism. It's all the sins and everything. So he's like, ah, oh, screw it. I'll just go in there and be with my people, all the all the bad peoples and all the mafia bosses and all that. So for he goes there, and he dies. But then, then... Because he 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 won a, he won this gambling game against this really high ranking mafia boss, and he's all like, "Man, you're really good. You're really good at po poker, guy, po poker po poker card player." And that's that's when he's all like, "Yeah, I am. I'm pretty good." But you know, he, he like spits up like some blood because you know I mean, he's he's an alcoholic and a nicotine addiction, and he got hit by a truck. And then the some mafia boss is all like. And then, and then he wakes up, right, and he's sitting like this, you know, in a meditative stance. And he's like, mm, um, he's like, where am I? Um. So did he die? Yeah, yeah, he's dead, but this is, this is kind of like his afterlife. But hold on, he's going to come back really soon, really soon. It's a very short scene, or like 15 minutes, right? But the chestnut mare seemed to almost know what he had intended. Where she slowed and rubbed her ears and the man against the side of the stallion's head. And then ran. That's one of the best passages in this entire book, really. And I feel like that's kind of this, where the story's going, right? I think that this main character is the stallion, really, in many ways. I don't want to be captured. Which is why then he's going to come back to life, right? But he's going to be in a different body, right? You want to guess what's going to happen? It's all going to happen all over again. And that's basically what I want my movie to look like. I mean, in the way, in the like the aesthetic of it, but not really in terms of storytelling. Or I mean, I guess kind of storytelling because I mean this guy has had a tragic life. But I mean, it's just I want it to look like that and semi feel like that, you know? It's, it's like this really weird ball of clay, and yet you, you, you picked up the aesthetic, that's a little bit in there, and the feeling in there. 
then you got all my stuff, right? And I feel like this ball of clay, with this film, in many ways, is going to be great. Do you ever get tired of boring, plain scarves? Yes. Do you want something more exciting in your life? Yes. Well, if you call the number 666-0517, you'll receive the limited edition Saks. Saks, also known as Super Awesome Cool Scarf, is a fashionable and deadly piece of clothing. Let's go, lose control, slip the slide on the dance floor. Let's go, lose control, slip, slip the slide on the dance floor. Let's go, lose control. Have a grudge against those escaped aliens from Area 51 that keep sneaking into your house and stealing your snacks? No worries! The sacks can help you with that. Now you won't have to worry about your snacks disappearing in the middle of the night. You can also get sacks by applying online on our website, saxforsass.com. Looking for that perfect Christmas gift for this year? Well, get the new egg! Sick of burglars always robbing your house? Egg will protect you from anything and anyone. Egg is not only a protector, but also a companion, a friend, and a lover. Action. I, I do not have a thing for Asians. 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 You gotta read that line up there. Just that. Do we have to read this? Yes. Okay. Asians. 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 Alright, we got it. Okay, you got it. Dude, Mac, Mac aka Maddie's hubby. What? Look, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. Just, I do not have a thing for Asians. <laughs> and it's, it's really a kind of, it's, it's a symbol in a way. Alright, look, it's, it's stupid simple. It's Mac. He has a toxic ego. He vibes, but he doesn't meditate. Symbolic, like... I'm trying to think of a symbol throughout history. The Nazi thing. The swastika, in many ways. I saw your communist manifesto. You're, you're obviously one for evil. As to be... R-O-K. The most sensitive, most sensitive men. men. The, 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 the thing, the, the slashy thing and the hammer, communism, that's the symbol for communism. So the, this line, I do not have a thing for Asians, is kind of a symbol that you don't like Asians. That simple. I don't know. I can't read this. No. Just tell the camera how your first day of class went. Well, I think it went okay. Um, you know how it is. I know one person in the class, so it's all right. How was my first day? <laughs> well, I, I I would say it was pretty good, but I mean, it is only period one. I, you know, there's, there's a lot more to discover out there. Just here in just here in the school, really, but actually a lot more out in the universe. You know, all that in our minds. So yeah, I, I think I think I made a really good impression, definitely on Mr. O'Neill. 
Sam, Sammy, she she was pretty Action. cool. You know, she's more the vibe and all that. But I, I don't know about this Russian kid, Dragovid or whatever his name was, man. Like, he's quiet. Like, like pumped up kicks quiet. Like. Here. I yeah. think I really do think no. that the first day I felt right like, here. well, you know, all our energy levels were around the same area. Obviously, you know, I'm higher than everyone else because you know, I've communed with my higher spirit and all that. It's just Dragovich. I, I, I can't. Man. It's just so bad. I feel so bad. Well, I don't need to say what I said before. You never listen to me anyway. My voice is sore. Or I'm not sick at all. I'm just sick of you And now you're coming back But I don't 